Initiating takeoff procedure. We have lift off. And we are now controlling this. He is controlling this. I have nothing to do with it. All right. Ruby, Arduino, and Harris. All good. But there was more. Yeah, we, there's even more because you know there's a camera on this thing. And we're actually pulling in the video feed too. All your data are belong to us. We just really, really love things that fly. Okay. Oh, I wasn't able to bring up a point there. Oh, okay. All right, let's give it a shot. We're, we're going to get really crazy and experimental. <laughs> we actually have the API running, and it's a full web-based interface. Right now, uh, Adrian's actually... Uh, I'll hold it again. You browse the interface. Did you hear it? Where's the mic? You fly, I'll hold the bike. <laughs> so there was our, uh, here's our drone, and each drone has different connections and devices. So here we have the drone, the navigation, the Wii Classic controller, all communicating at once. These are the ports and the IP addresses that they all communicate with. And you can drill down into each one and get specific information about that connection that is fed from WebSockets. Which we're not on here. Right? I believe we disabled so that we wouldn't take any extra chances, like you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get crazy with it. The Ferraris are making it hot. <laughs> can, you make, can you make it go fast? Maybe. The only thing about this versus the blimp, this thing really does inflict pain. <laughs> I have the scars to prove it. Yeah, we've all lost a little bit of flesh in our pursuit of robotic excellence. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Can we, can we bring it in? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why? Protect the car. All right. No problem. No problem. Got it. <laughs> I'm going to invade the Spiro's home here for a second. You can make it almost there. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs>